Hi and welcome to the second video of the Administering Your Subscription and Users track. In this video, we'll explore creating global and user group filters. Now let's start by explaining what a global filter is. Firstly, the global filter is represented by this bright red square that you will see all across PPO. The purpose of the global filter is to filter out data that is no longer relevant or let's say data that's inactive. So when an issue is closed or a risk is closed or I make the actual progress of my task 100%, those items have been done. So I do not want to see all those closed or inactive items everywhere in PPO the whole time. So that's the purpose of that global filter is to filter out that information that's no longer relevant. Now to set up the global filter, I'm going to use the employee entity as an example. So I'm going to click on the employees menu item and on the employee list you will see that currently we do not have a global filter applied. So some of these employees are active and some of these employees are not. So now to set up that global filter so that these inactive employees are filtered out, I will do that within the administration module. But firstly, let's just check the field that we are going to use in our global filter. So there is an active checkbox on the employee entity indicating whether this employee is active or not. So we are going to filter on this active field. So I'm going to access the administration module and from the administration list access the filters. Now as an administrator you will create a global filter. Here at the top, if the All User Groups option is selected, when I look at the User Group field, that will mean that I am setting up global filters for all these project entities at the bottom. Now I'm going to set one up on the employee level. So currently there's no global filter set up, so I'm going to click on the Add Filter icon. And then the Filter Add page opens. Ensure you give your global filter a name, Ensure the filter type says global. If it's a shared filter, this needs to be checked. If it's not a shared filter, you can uncheck that. Then click on the green plus sign to add your field that you want to filter on. Now the field that we've selected is this active field. Then you'll say equals and then the value must be checked. So that means on my employee list, I only want to see the employees where that active field is checked. Then you'll see two submits. You have to first submit your filter item. And that means you can have more than one item you are filtering on. And then you submit your entire filter. This will now throw you back to your filters edit page. You will see within the employee filter section that our global filter is now shown. If I now go back to the employee list, you will see that the global filter is now shown. And you will see that my list went from 17 employees to 15. So there were two inactive employees that are now being filtered out. Now to disable a global filter doesn't matter where you do it in PPO. You simply need to click on the red icon. The page refreshes. The global filter is now disabled or you'll see the message says it's being ignored. And that filter icon goes like a dark red. If you need it enabled again, simply click on the icon, the page refreshes and that global filter is now enabled again. The next filter we are going to set up is a user group filter. Now a user group filter is set up for security reasons. So that limits the user belonging to that user group to only see certain data. So I'm going to in this example access the project list. Now my name is Harry Adams and I form part of the PPO Administrator group. So I'm going to set up a user group filter for my group. So let's say when I access the project list, my user group are only allowed to see projects in the executing phase. So that's the example that I'm going to use. So I'm going to again filter on the phase field. So to create this user group filter, we're going to access the administration module and from there, access the filters again. I should now select the specific user group that I want to create this user group filter for. So I'm going to choose my user group, which is the PPO administrators. 
Do you see that my user group currently has no user group filters? So the PP administrator group normally would see all the information across all the projects and all the entities. But now I'm going to create one on the project level. So I'm going to click on the add filter icon and the filter add page opens. I'm going to give my filter a name. Then I'm going to make sure the filter type says user group and then I'm going to click on the green plus sign to add the data field I want to filter on. So the field I'm filtering on is the phase field. So show me all the projects where the phase equals and then I choose executing. I then submit my filter item and then I submit my entire filter. This will now throw you back to the filters edit page and for our PP administrator group you will see that our user group filter has been applied. If I now access the project list again I will see that I only have access to projects within the executing phase. Note that there is no icon that shows me that a user group filter is being applied. So when I log in I will believe that those are the only projects that are available on PPO. So in summary, a global filter and a user group filter are filters that are set up by the system administrator. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you learned a lot about creating global and user group filters. Learn more about PPO today by visiting us at projectportfoliooffice.com. PPO, your award-winning project management solution.